All right, my friends, one of my favorite topics today, plumbing. We're gonna jump in with master plumber and Build Show Network contributor, Eric Ani. We're gonna be talking specifically about plumbing offsets and the math involved. Eric's gonna break it down and make it really simple for you. I love Eric's videos, and if you wanna see more of Eric, you can go over to thebuildshow.com. I'll tell you more at the end. With that being said, let's jump into today's video, plumbing math for offsets. Let's get going. All right, you remember when they said you're gonna use algebra when you get older? Ha, I still don't use it, but I do use simple math formulas, and I'm gonna show you how to make piping connections with a 45 degree offset using some very simple arithmetic. You might look at this video and go, hey, you know, I've worked with PVC, it's not that hard. Uh, typically just take my tape measure and I measure and I hold the fitting here because I need to connect this pipe to that pipe and it's not that hard, right? Well. You know what, in this situation, it isn't that hard, but I know a really simple math formula that can make this super easy for me. So what we've got are 45 degree offsets. And I know a math formula that I learned in my apprenticeship at trade school that'll help me calculate this pipe here based off of this elevation and this elevation. And I'm gonna use the floor above because that's a constant for to come up with that offset so let's get right into it very simple i need to know where this pipe is and so i'm going to take my tape measure and i'm at 14 and a quarter inches no problem there that's the center line off the bottom of the subfloor above now i need to know where the center line of this pipe is off the off the subfloor above and i'm at eight and a quarter inches six inches difference right very simple math that's the first number I need. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm just gonna hide a little number up here. I'm gonna take six inches. And I'm gonna take six inches times, this is our number, our constant we need to worry about, 1.41, all right? It's a really, it, it actually, the decimal number is longer than that. I only remember those three digits. All right, so I'm gonna take six times 1.41 and I'm gonna calculate that out. It's gonna be 8.5 inches. So now what I've decided is that from the center of this to the center of this, using my, my offset formula, I need a piece that is 8.5 inches. I'm not done yet though. That's just gonna get me the two center line marks. I need to subtract for each of these two fittings, the distance of the center of that fitting, right there, to the end of my pipe. Very simple. I'm not trying to overcomplicate this. It actually is one and a half inches. That's cool, times two is three. So I've got that math, eight and a half minus three inches, and that's five and a half inches, and that's gonna be how long this piece be is, and they're gonna line up perfectly. Give me a second to cut that pipe. All right, now that I have cut my pipe, I'm just gonna dry fit it here. Make sure I get it put together. And now you remember, this is the pipe that we had to cut. And because we're working with 45 degree offsets, that 1.41 is our multiplier. That gives us this center line to center line distance. And then we have to uh, take off what is called the makeup of the fitting. So let's put this in there and see if it fits, ready? It's a little bit of a hard fit because I've got two fixed points here. But if I push things around a little bit, we'll just check everything like that. Now, if I've got this, if this pipe is the right uh, distance or length, this pitch is gonna be proper and this pitch is gonna be proper and I already know that we're pushed together all the way there. So I'll use my level on the hubs of the fittings and I'm getting a quarter inch per foot there. And I'll do the same thing here with my torpedo, quarter inch per foot there. So this was right. Very simple. I didn't have to hold the fitting and my tape measure and kind of stand on my head to get that measurement. The further apart these are, the more difficult that is. Uh, this example, sure, I could have held this fitting here and got pretty close, but pretty close really at the end of the day is, is what that means is you're probably gonna end up with the wrong pieces more often than not and have to cut them twice. Cutting a piece of pipe twice just makes up for waste in the end. And it's just a waste of time. So knowing this formula, how it works for a 45 degree offset 
uh, not just for PVC, you can use this for copper, you can use this for CPVC, you could use this on ductwork. The math is still the same and the, and the principles are still the same. So just like your eighth grade teacher, like mine, Mr. Johnson said, you're probably gonna use this one day. I guess he wasn't wrong. Hopefully this helps. Guys, Eric is such an amazing educator. He also has a great sense of humor. You should be following him on Instagram, at Mechanical Hub, and go over to thebuildshow.com. He's been shooting videos now for us for about three years now. So he's got some fabulous content with all things plumbing, all things HVAC. A terrific guy based out of Minnesota. And like I said, all his old videos can be seen on thebuildshow.com. With that being said, guys, go check out our merch store if you haven't already. Over on thebuildshow.com, besides the Build Experts tab where you'll find Eric Ani, you can also click on the Gear Store tab and you can get a shirt, a hat, all kinds of good build merch for you to wear proudly on your job sites. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram, otherwise we'll see you next time on The Build Show.